There's been speculation that Mal Maninga may be forced to scale down his involvement in PNG Rugby League after he was recently offered a new three-year deal. But unlike Blues coach Laurie Daly, Maninga works on a part-time basis to allow him to continue his other passions in rugby league. Um, it's just a part-time job again, so because I still want to be involved with the, the national program up here as well, so um, which takes me through to 2017 with the, you know, the Rugby League World Cup. So it sort of marries up really well. While all Papua New Guineans would love to see their own team in the NRL, Maninga says the fans have to be patient. One day that you know that we might see the Papua New Guinea Rugby League invest in a, a national rugby league club and have some ties with the, with the Hunters, you know, for our players to start to um, branch out and play for national rugby league clubs. The Kumus Coats believe the Intra Super Cup is the second strongest competition in the world of rugby league, and this year he thinks the PNG Hunters can go all the way. I predict that the Hunters could win the Intra Super Cup this year. You know, certainly not too far down the track. But what we're finding from year to year is that a lot of our players, this is the ultimate goals, a lot of our Hunters players, we want them playing at the National Rugby League Club or go over to England playing in their, their top league over there, the English Super Leagues. PNG Rugby League's main goal is to get as many players as possible into the NRL, where they'll have more opportunity to take part in international competitions. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.